Hi, today it's going to be a Paris haul. I was in Paris like two weeks ago and I was having so much fun and that was my second time in Paris which I'm so so happy and uh, I have a few stuffs which I wanted to show you which I buy de there and yeah in my country down south, Sephora stuffs and Mac and I really really want to buy when I go out of my country. And first of all I will gonna start with um, skincare routine, skincare stuffs and first of all I get this Clinique Clarifon Lotion. This is number one for dry and very dry skin. This product we have in my country but it's very very expensive and I get it very very cheap on sales and I really wanted to to get this, to try it and I already use this for two weeks right now and I'm so so happy because I get this because this works amazing, I really really love this one. I really don't like because it smells on alcohol and have alcohol inside but that it's kind of okay because this don't dry my skin which is very very good. Next which I get, this is a base scent uh, Dermalogic uh, the peeling with uh, glycolic acid, after fruit acid and facial exfoliant. Uh, this stuff was so so expensive. This bottle for 50 milliliters was $50 which I think it's insane because it's face exfoliate it's not big deal but works amazing. I already tried this one two times and I'm so so happy because I get it because my skin kind of start to feeling and looks very very better and um, yeah, it gives glowing, uh, exfoliate your skin very nicely, tighten up your skin, uh, don't break out and it's a beautiful product. It's kind of white with blue, uh, kind of sea sandy uh, pills inside, dots inside and it works amazing. I really, really love this stuff. And if you're able to find this, try it on eBay because this is by Switzerland and I really don't know if you can find it in USA, but try it on eBay. This product worth to try it. Next up, which I get, I wanted to try this stuff. This is um, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. So much people talk about for this, that this is the greatest product, this is a beautiful product, works amazing. And um, for me, it's very, very expensive to get the, uh, the full size bottle and because of that, I decide to get the smaller one first to try it. This sell into my country and if I like it, definitely I will gonna buy it. I already use this, I night for these two weeks and I kind of like it. Makes the skin very very healthy, glowy and I see this really really works but definitely I will gonna try it for a few months to see this it's worth it to buy or not. And next I get a clinic all about eyes. This is already a circles puffiness which I have so so much. I have very dark circles, I have puffiness, puffiness under eyes and I really wanted to try something like this. I really really love this product. It's very very, um, it's jelly but feels very very silicone and very smooth on the skin which I like. But I think I would prefer the rich formula because after a few hours this it's kind of not drying on my face under my eyes. It's just a little bit drier because I have super dry skin. This can be works really really fine but I think next time I will gonna get the rich formula. And next I get Estee Lauder Hydro Bright Skin Tone Perfecting Moisturizing um, Cream which uh, have SPF of 50. I saw so, so much very very good reviews for this product and I decided to get it. It's very very beautiful cream, it's not very very oily, it's not very drying. It's for me for having dry skin but all in the, in the summer I get a little bit oily on my T-zone and this works amazing. And everybody around me uh, feel that, uh, see that my skin is kind of glowing and healthy and I definitely see that this is amazing product. Definitely, definitely I'm gonna love this um, 
for a while. Okay, next move on for the makeup styles, which I really, really love what I get. First of all, I got Makeup Forever HD foundation because I was not able to reach for this foundation because, yeah, I can buy it in my country. And I get N... Um, N120, which is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but because it's summer, definitely I'm gonna get tan a little bit, and this is going to be super fine. I have it on my face right now, and um, I was very, very skeptic for this because I have it so, so dark. Uh, for, <laughs> I have so much uh, dry skin, and I was afraid that this is not going to work for me. But this is, I think, the greatest foundation ever. It applies very, very nicely on the skin, uh, gives flawless looking, HD, very, very photographs, and uh, very beautifully. And I really love that. And dumb creases, dumb has disappeared, it's long lasting, don't drive me up, dumb creases in my lines. I really love this one. Okay, that was for the foundation. And also, I get the, the Makeup Forever. This is full cover concealer, which I needed to buy because every time when I reach for concealers, every time that they creases into my lines and looks very cakey, look very ni nasty. But I get this in number three and it's perfect shade for my skin tone. It's very close to my skin tone, a little bit lighter but very not uh, too much visible. And I really love this one. This is, the, I think, the only concealer which don't creases in my lines. Don't go into the line, don't cake up under, under the eyes. I think this is the best concealer ever I find. Probably you will know if you see my, my other videos that I really, really, really uh, reaching to find very good concealer but I think I find it okay that was that and let's move on on the max stuffs first of all I got select moisture cover concealer in NC 15 which I try it two times and I don't like it I really don't like it I really don't know why this is possible it's need to be very moisturizing under eyes but very on my eyes it's kind of drying and feel it goes into the lines very nasty I tried to uh, to set it with the powder but then look powdery and I I will definitely work with this product to see if I will find a good way to work with me for me but definitely right now I'm not very very into it Next up is MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, which I was very, very surprised that this was in... I find it, I find it, I look at this for MAC Hunter, MAC Store, but, I, uh, but they don't have it. And uh, last day of Paris, I got in other Sephora and find it there because I really don't know, but in Paris, they sell MAC stuff in Sephora. I already used a couple of times. I really, really love it. And it's amazing product, uh, product I think. And next, I get just one eyeshadow because um, I have too much uh, eyeshadows by MAC and I don't need to buy new stuff. And I get nylon which is a beautiful golden kind of shimmery eyeshadow and I have it on my eyelid right now. If you wanted to see tutorial for this, definitely it's going to be in the um, info box down below. And that was that. And also I get five lipsticks because I really don't know, uh, but I really love the MAC lipstick, especially amplified lipsticks are my favorite. All of them are, I think, amplified. One, it's not amplified. <laughs> All of them, it's amplified. I get Bombshell, which is um, Frost. I think this is the only uh, product which is not amplified. It's Frost. It's, go it's a really, really pinkish with gold reflex inside. Before... Uh, one or two months I definitely was more into the matte sides of lipsticks or more without very shimmery but lately I love shimmery stuffs and this stuff is amazing the next lipstick what I get is Cherish which is a satin finish and it's a beautiful nude but more in the pinks uh, the 
pink side. More in the brown side, I really love this kind of lipsticks because I really don't like that paleish, very pale lipstick. I really love when it's kind of a little bit cold color, definitely more pinkish or brownish, but it's no matter. I really love this kind of lipstick. Next one is Angel, which again, it's frost. I think I was thinking that I got it more uh, amplified, but uh, this is this color. It's very, very pinkish, very nudish, very everyday color. I really, really love this one. And I think it's going to be one of my favorite pinkish nudish colors. Next one, which I got is Saint Germain, which I had it on my lips, combination with other stuff with this by uh, Maybelline. This is a fuchsia flash. Saint Germain it's a very 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 bright color and definitely it's not for all people uh, all people no, not old uh, but it's super super bright and I think if I do not put something uh, before or a lip liner or lip gloss on top of it it's going to look super bright on my lips this is the lipstick it's super bluish tone lipstick I really love that and next one and last one by uh, lipsticks and um, it's this Nicki, uh, Nicki Minaj, this is number two, which I already have it something gone. Yeah, uh, which is super bright, purplish color, but also this color, I can use it uh, just this color because it's super bright. I use it with combination, especially these two works again uh, perfectly together. And that was everything for, uh, no, I have two products for MAC, sorry. And definitely a first time in my life I try a soft and gentle uh, mineralized skin finish and definitely I am in love with this stuff. This is the most amazing highlighting powder ever. It's a soothe for every skin tone I think. It's more on the beige golden side but definitely I have it on my face right now and definitely I am so in love with this product because it goes on the skin very smoothly, uh, gives very natural glow, nothing to too chunky glittery uh, stuffs and it's so so pigmented you need a little bit to go all over the face and I really love that this is so probably if you uh, kind of uh, Watching my videos, definitely you probably know that I really, really love highlighting powders and I really love bronzing powders. I'm kind of freak to bronzing powders and definitely I find this one in the back of the counter. I really don't know why they have this limited edition one, but I kind of reach for it and I'm so in love with it. This is, I think, the perfect shade for everybody who have very light skin tone and it's amazing i love when say mac mac and this is gold 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 lightly lightly studio terrible to press powder it's so soft so beautiful and it's perfect shade for everybody who have very very pale skin like me i'm so in love and i'm very, very happy because i get it in limited edition because the packaging looks awesome Two stuffs by NARS, first time in my life I trying NARS and guess what I get? NARS Orgasm, yeah, Orgasm blush, which I really don't like the packaging, I like what, uh, how this look like, but I really don't like because it's kind of fingerprint and it's nasty right in the moment. I have it this blush on me right now, probably you all know and all have it this Orgasm blush. I really really love it. I think it's going to go in every kind of season. Now it's better. It's summer, summer, <laughs> uh, summer, spring, or winter. Definitely, it's going to be super. And Albatross, Albatross highlighting powder, which I kind of, I have it. I don't know. I really love it. I most of the time I use it like highlighting on my brow bone. Uh, but sometimes I'm really liking this, sometimes I really don't, do not like. I really don't know why, but sometimes it looks very, very kind of fake on my skin. Maybe because I'm very, very pale and kind of this golden, very, very light goldenish color don't suit me. But sometimes I like it, sometimes I'm not. It depends on what 
blush I will gonna use with this but definitely it's really really good product let's move on because I have it just few more stuffs and one is this the Too Faced um, Romantic Eyes I really love uh, I wanted to get uh, some of this palette by Too Faced but the other one is uh, was very very brownish very very naturalized which I have two palettes by Naked Naked one and Naked two, and I have it too much uh, kind of brownish, goldenish color. I'm not very into it to all the time to wear it like that. That colors, and because of that, I get this Romantic Eyes, which palette it's amazing. Have very very three different like shimmery day classic fashion. I do. <laughs> Uh, I really really love the names of it and also I love all the colors you if you want you can make very very natural with all these colors and very bold very very dark night looking with this kind of colors but I really really love this stuff and I think I'm using really lately like these two weeks I'm using like crazy this stuff maybe I'm gonna do a tutorial for this because I have very beautiful shade and also I get two, uh, two more stuffs, uh, which is these two um, face masks by Balea, this is a Germanish brand and uh, kind of like it, this is uh, with aloe vera and this is for anti-aging and boosting your skin, everything says on German, yeah. Uh, Balea Aqua Termask, I really don't know what to say. This is for with um, for dry skin, and it's kind of all mask when you put it like this one. The same, yeah. I'm gonna try that and see if this works or not. Um, and last the one, I this is this wasn't in my haul. Uh, from Paris. This was way before but I was not having time to discuss with these products. This is BB Creams and I get it by... I will post the link down below because I really don't remember the, the website. This is Leo Ali BB, uh, BB Cream Beyond the Solution and looks like this and I'm using like crazy. This is the most awesome stuff I put on my face. I really really love it and it makes the skin very very nice, very glowy, very very healthy. You don't look like you have something on but definitely you have because this stuff is amazing. And also I get Misha BB Cream, Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in uh, which color was this? Number 13, which is very, very light color. And I love this even more because I have a 42 SPF and also having all the ingredients like um, uh, visible link, uh, wrinkles, uh, anti-wrinkles properties, brightening, coverage, Mm, blemish, don't know, don't know, everything. But go into the site and see what this is. Definitely, I will gonna do a full review for these two products because I'm in love with. This is the only product which I put on my under uh, on my moisturizer before put foundation and looks amazing. Keep me moisturizing all day long, and it's enough SPF for. And uh, skin protection and I think that was everything. Oh my god, I forgot to say that first time in my life I have it my Michael Kors watch. Definitely when I see this in airport in Paris, I wanted to get this baby. This is Michael Kors. I will definitely see the, the number because I don't know. Any. This is 5314. Looks like this. It looks like men's watches. It's um, rose gold and definitely it was so exciting for me to get this baby because I was desperately wanted for so long. And yes, that was everything for today. Keep watching my tutorials, my videos, likes and subscribe and bye bye.